Will Captain Marvel be a good movie? Rotten Tomatoes has just crapped the bed. They have removed the indicator for Captain Marvel. You can no longer express that you're not interested and leave a comment. I'm not going to fight your war. I'm going to end it. Hmm. Is Alex Jones crazy, or is it possible that there are shape-shifting reptilians that live beneath the crust of the Earth? Forget all the secret testing that's been done against the population. This is a human! This is what we look like! This is what we act like! Here's open. Are these questions really that tedious at the beginning of the Ask Cam Cannon videos? Here's a little news flash! It's not funny! In fact, it's pretty freaking unfunny. God, God, no. Actually, they are kind of difficult to come up with, so I don't know. We're going to ride this one out. Uh, and finally, uh, my radiated tortoise has laid one egg a week for four weeks. That's today's question, or rather statement, that we're going to deal with today on Ask Camp Kenneth. Stay tuned. You got questions. We've got answers. Just ask him. Hey, what's going on everybody? Okay, so today's question has to do with tortoise eggs. Uh, I don't have any radiated tortoise eggs, but I do have some sulcatas that have laid and uh, this female laid last week and now this one right here seems to have completed digging her and laying her eggs. Uh, but today's question comes from Marty GGK and he's basically it's not really a question it's more like a statement but I think it's a really cool topic so we're gonna cover it and he says uh, in one circumstance my radiated tortoise laid one egg at a time total four eggs within a month which is interesting um, now I'm not sure about how old your tortoise was um, but sometimes young tortoises will basically uh, start to you know develop eggs and they'll start practicing. These eggs are gonna be infertile. There's no male with them. Uh, they may lay them kind of uh, one at a time like that just to kind of get the reproduc reproductive system up and running. If that makes any sense, the body is turning on. Uh, it's kind of like puberty for tortoises, if you will. Uh, they're just kind of turning on. And so they may not have developed the amount of follicles um, that they are going to wind up with. Um, you know, inside the tortoise's body, a female tortoise's body, they have ovaries. And on those ovaries are different egg follicles and they'll have a certain amount that will develop eggs within one or two up or down. Um, and if they're all firing, if they're totally healthy, they're really gonna produce a lot of eggs. But it takes a lot of energy to make eggs. So you have to make sure the animals have the right diet. So diet with calcium, natural foods, natural sunlight, all that is gonna be extremely important uh, when you know you have ovulating or egg producing females. Um, so there's different ways to get calcium. There's the calcium dust, there's cuddle bone, uh, there's the high fiber diet that they need uh, with broad leafy greens thrown in just to basically kind of kick up that calcium production when they are producing eggs. Now this female always protects nests uh, her nest was over in this area, but today I'm going to be digging in this area. Hopefully I'll find it. So um, let's get going. And the cool thing about, you know, tortoises like the radiateds and the sulcatas are that those tortoises can multi-clutch. Come on, girl, get moving. She's actually defending someone else's nest here. Uh, so I use this poker. You may have seen it in other videos. I gently probe the ground. And if it sinks down, I know that I've reached kind of a area that is hollow and you want to go gently because you don't want to damage the eggs and sometimes it takes a long time to find the eggs so we're just going to gently probe like this but i thought this was a cool opportunity to answer this question while also showing you how I retrieve eggs, at least from the sulcatas, since they're so massive, they lay quite a large nest and they really disturb a lot of soil to do it. I think this is where it was. 
down in here. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna go with digging right here. And we'll up, oh, look at this. This is a female. Man, we have a broken egg. This female did not, did not lay properly. This is a bummer because we've got eggs close to the surface. This is not normal, guys. And I, I have a smashed egg, which is okay. I mean, they lay a lot of eggs and we're not gonna have, and I'm gonna have to be fighting this female off. But that that's the first for me, seeing an egg like this. Oh man, this is a problem, guys. This is a problem. I think this nest might be a wash because what happens is sometimes they lay them shallow and um, for whatever reason, or what has happened is the nest itself got disturbed by other tortoises. Yeah, this is a problem. Goodness gracious, what a bummer. Yeah, these, these look like they've been smashed by other tortoises. Oh, that's such a bummer. So that's why it's important, guys, that when you have a group of tortoises, you may want to sit there. Oh yeah, this, this nest is shot. You may want to sit there. Look at this, just, just all broken eggs. You may want to actually sit, and sometimes I do this, I sit and I watch them lay, because what happens is this tortoise probably smashed the eggs of this female. And the reason being is she was just didn't like her laying so close to, to the other uh, nest. But look at that, all smashed, all ruined. What a disappointment. Let's see, we're getting down deeper here. Ah, oh, all smashed. Oh my gosh, such a bummer. Hold on though, I think I might be getting lucky. Might get a few eggs out of this, I don't know. Really unhappy about this, guys. I don't know if you can see at this point, I don't wanna, they're so packed in, and now she's coming over to protect her nest. And it's another interesting fact, here's a, an actual full egg. Look, she's gonna bump me, oh, this one's bumping me. This is like them being good moms, but you can see why I'm taking them out of the ground. Some of you may be new to this, and you might think I'm being mean. That's painful. I might be being mean, uh, but I'm not. I wanna get them out of the ground because of this reason. Uh, they, this is not a very deep nest. Um, also, the weather conditions here in Florida are too wet for these to incubate in the ground, and I wanna get them out of the ground so that they don't hatch in the ground, which I've never had happen with sulcatas, uh, because the babies would then get eaten up and they're non-native to here, so we wanna make sure that we are doing the right thing. But I'm just depressed because, look at this, smashed eggs. I mean, I can't even feed these to Slinky. They're so smashed. So basically, something else we can talk about in this video about the question or the statement really, it was not really a question, was it? But that statement also I'd like to add is the fact that tortoises sometimes multi-clutch. So whereas this clutch has been destroyed, except for this egg, and uh, maybe this one might be okay. Yeah, this one looks okay. No, no crushes on it, but uh, tortoises can multi-clutch. And in the case of the sulcata tortoise, these tortoises will lay up to five clutches. And with this female, she lays about 30 eggs a piece. Uh, that's five times a year. So one female will put off quite a lot of eggs. And my goodness, am I getting attacked from behind here? Oh, but there's just so many broken eggs. So depressing. There's the yolk. Gosh, this female behind me, she's a good producer. This egg I can feed the slinks. It's still somewhat good. What I think happened is she laid her eggs and as she was laying them, sometimes other females or males will ram them as they're laying. And when that happens, they wind up stepping on their own eggs and destroying them. So this nest is a wash except for five eggs. How disappointing. How disappointing, guys. Yeah, there's nothing going on down in there. That's it. She probably laid close to 17 eggs and only five are any good. So it is what it is. <sighs> well, it's not all roses. Oh God, that was painful. It's not all roses here, guys. But we did learn something and it's something that I wanna share with you guys. And that is uh, if you do see your tortoise laying eggs and if they're in 
kind of an enclosure like this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, if they're in an enclosure where there are a lot of different tortoises in that enclosure, you are gonna wanna keep an eye on them when they lay. I've been so busy around the camp doing a lot of other work that I saw her start to lay, and sometimes I'll actually catch the eggs as they come on out. But um, I had to keep working. Uh, anyhow, kind of a bummer, but at least this isn't an endangered species. At least we know that, um, you know, their, their overall species is not going to be affected. And what we do know is in the wild, only 1% of these babies will make it to adulthood. Bottom line is most of the other eggs become food for other animals. So these two eggs I'm going to rinse off and they're going to become food for Slinky. So we'll keep the circle of life going, right? What's that? Yeah, circle of life. And they are an African tortoise, so there you go. Uh, all right, everybody, there you have it. There is a question answered. Um, radiated tortoise uh, was probably just turning on, and so she's laid a few eggs at a time. Once she gets into the rhythm of laying, it'll be more consistent, and will usually space out over every two to three weeks, they'll drop different clutches. So in another three weeks, uh, this tortoise should lay again. This one, I remember her name's number eight, and she actually does about three clutches. So between three and five clutches for sulcatas. Same thing with radiateds, leopards. Uh, they'll multi-clutch, so it's pretty interesting. And my tortoises usually are egg-laying between October till March. So, wow, <laughs> it's going to be speeding up uh, this month. Uh, but I've noticed, actually, in the last year, uh, the sulcatas have been slowing down as far as egg-laying. So uh, it's not always consistent. They're, they've been moved into this uh, smaller enclosure. They've been here for a little while. So that's probably affected their egg laying as well uh, because they don't have the same uh, habitat that they once did because of all the construction going on out here. Had to keep them safe. So there you have it, guys. A question answered. I'm going to get out of here before she breaks an ankle. And uh, we're going to get Slinky fed. I'll leave you with me feeding good old Slinky some eggs. Slinky! Hey, Slinky, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Come on, buddy, I got you a little present today. Oh, boy. Come on, Slinks. Eggs are good for you, nice, nutritious meal. Come here, Bubba. Goodness gracious, that plumbing sounds odd. Come on, Slinks, get over here, I got eggs. Look at this, look at that. Oh, there you go, come on, Bubba. Come on, bud, come on. Get in the water, come swim over, take an egg. Ah, oh, there he comes. Come on, buddy, there's some eggs for you. Get to it. So, at least we know things aren't wasted here at Camp Cannon. We got our good friend, the Asian water monitor, Slinky. He's a bit of a garbage disposal. Nicely done, little calcium, and egg and they'll just spit the rest out <laughs> it's good for your it's what rocky used to eat before he went jogging before he fought at apollo creed but anyway raw eggs man yummy you can eat that shell strong bones very important all right everybody i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you again soon